Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. We're looking at a beautiful day, 82 sunshine, our final day of what you'd call lower humidity as it gets hotter throughout the week. We have a big ah. night at, oh yes, it's going to get warm. Big night at Dublin Deck tonight, our hump day hoedown, usually on hump day, Wednesday, for this week because of the holiday week, moved to Tuesday. It is tonight. Country fans, uh, yes. You ready? You come out, I'm ready to go. Let's rock. Uh, we're going to be out there. The usual deal starts at five, goes late. Uh, yeah, we'll be there all night just uh, crushing it. And we got your uh, tickets and T-shirts and wheel of prizes, food and drink. And it's a lot of fun. Friday, I have the ticket blitz at two o'clock in the afternoon on July 5th at Bango, 812 Wheeler Road, Hop Hog. It's all listed on our socials. Hot concert tickets, incredible food that doesn't make you feel guilty, Candy. Love that kind of food. Like a bowl, a beautiful uh, grilled chicken Caesar salad. Oh, I would like that so much right now. Ah, yeah, some great stuff. They got the smoothies and the fajita bowls. I may try a fajita bowl. Oh, let me know yeah. how it goes. Yeah, we will uh, We'll do that. And uh, Friday night, Jay Letterman's out at Hexer Park, Huntington, for the Summer Arts Festival. Brooke Moriber is performing live uh, Friday night. And then, of course, Walker Hayes and the Fest on Saturday. Crazy. And if you start yeah. talking about the end of summer, I'm going to get upset. Just warning well, you. Don't no. talk about that with me. All I'm going to talk about is Sunday, I am going to be laying down watching TV. That's my Sunday Really? That's your week. plan for Sunday? Nobody you know, um, bother me. Yeah. My birthday is Monday. Mm -hmm. So my kids are trying to get together to see when we can all get together. Sunday looks like it might be the day, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll know more. I have uh, break, uh, lunch with Debbie Duhay on Monday. Yeah, early. love Debbie. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, lunch with the girls. Um, today, no, not today, tomorrow, I'm getting a spa pedicure, which means they they do extra stuff. You pay extra money and they massage you longer and they they do a good job. I'm they they, myself to that. they don't talk behind your back. They, they're they nice to you. Is that what happens? Don't talk to me at all is what I prefer. I don't want to talk. <laughs> I want to relax. I just all right. shut my eyes and not think. All right. Um, so I'm preparing for the big – I have a big birthday this year. Uh, yes, I do know what birthday you have coming yeah. up this year. Yeah. The one Medicare hunts you down for. Yeah. <laughs> You're so open these days with everything. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you know, every woman on Long Island should take a, a tip from you and just be open like that. That's well, good. you know, it's better than the alternative, and I feel good. I mean, if this is what 65 feels like, I'm ready for 85. Let's go. Look at you. You're yep. so free. Yeah. Incredible. I know. And Man. let's never talk about this again. I'm <laughs> All right. Let me just say it once then. 65. Know, wow. That's crazy. All right. That's it. I won't say it ever again. Right. I promise. Wait till you. I'll be around. No. When no. You're 65 and I'll be <laughs> yeah. giving you the business no matter where we are. Yeah. It'll be. It'll go something like this. Candy, I just had my 20th prostate exam. <laughs> Stop it. And my 50th colonoscopy. Let me tell you, my doc, I love my doctor. Okay. I'm Please alive. Say. I'm alive. Yeah. Something like that. Well, that's oh, uh, th that's very good. You you sound in a good space right now. Right now. Check back tomorrow. May not be All that right. way. All right. And tomorrow, our final day together till, uh, what, July? Well, I'll be back what? the 11th. Uh, let me look at the calendar. Uh, whatever that Thursday is. I'm I will off. be on. Yeah, I will be there the 11th. Yeah. Yep. I All right. I will be off from tomorrow until then. We'll have seven full days off yes. from each other. Incredible. Yay, yay. All right. Uh, Candy, some national days. I only have two. They're not that interesting, but we do have to pay tribute to National Wildland Firefighter Day. Wow. They do an amazing. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, and especially you see the I know we had uh, fires here, uh, you know, the Sunrise Highway fires of 1995. Right. Wasn't yes. that the year? Yes. Um, but you see all the California wildfires. Oh, horrible. Oh. Um, those firefighters, incredible out really, there. Really something. 
And it's National Anisette Day. That is a liqueur. I Ever... Anisette. I do know what anisette is, yes. Do you like, do you drink anisette? Mm, not really. I know what it is, though. All right. Uh, Spain, Italy, Portugal, and France lead the world in drinking this licorice-flavored drink. Oh, yeah, you would think I really would like it because I do like licorice, but no. Yeah, you're one of the few people, like, you love black licorice. I don't eat it anymore because they say if you eat too much of it, it could kill you. So I'm like, I, I'm not I'm not even going to eat it anymore. I haven't uh, had it in a long time. But yes, I uh, love it. All right. Well, good. I'm glad. Stay away from that then. I want you to be healthy, please. <laughs> she died eating black licorice. Yeah, no, that would be bad. I mean, how do I explain that to the fans, Candy? How do I do it? it <laughs> I th Think about me. Think about how all hard it would right, be. All right. All yeah. right. You're giving me a headache. All right. YouTuber Mr. Beast is in the news again. This time he built 100 homes and gave them away to impoverished people in Jamaica, El Salvador, and Argentina. I love this. This guy, he, he it's crazy, the good that he does around I the world. I love it. I can't believe yeah. it. Wow. Uh, his hope is to build 1,000 homes. He just built the first 100. So. Wow. Well, he's yeah. well on his way. A nine-year-old girl in Pittsburgh named Ivy Larson had to say goodbye to her cat Steve last month when he passed away at 16 years old. Oh, that's old for a cat. Yeah, she wanted to honor his memory, so she set up a lemonade stand in front of her house and gave all the money to a cat rescue called Nose to Tail. Oh. And she raised $150 worth of lemonade. So that is cute. adorable. And gave it all to this place and plans to do it again on the 4th of July. What a generous little girl. I love that story. Yeah, it's cute. It's making a small little impact in her neighborhood. That's all right? it takes. We all and did that. Of course, Candy, a guy from Tennessee was scratching off a $20 lottery ticket in a store and told the clerk... That if he hit the jackpot, he'd never eat bologna again. Well, and he won a million dollar ticket. He scratched wow. off. Yeah, maybe this is my problem. I don't go for the like a twenty dollar ticket. You know what I mean? Maybe I need to expand my lottery horizon. So I have not done a scratch off ticket in quite some time. I can't remember uh, with the last time. But I will tell you, just in my mind, I'm thinking. You're not winning the big one on a $2 ticket. I think, you know, you want the big one, you got to get the 10 or $20 ticket. You got to dip your toe in the water, and I've been uh, reluctant. I have right. to get better at that if I'm ever going to win. I should send you a birthday card with uh, should. five $20 bills That's in it. That's a fantastic <laughs> idea. Put it in the mail today. Write it I down, mean... put it in the mail. But you must buy five twenty dollars scratch offs, and that's a uh, fantastic idea! Yay! You know, Since maybe you've never gotten me a birthday gift in all these years. Oh, well, now I'm focused on your granddaughter. So, <laughs> uh, and by the way, see how I turned that around? Um, I will. Uh, maybe we'll do that on the air. You buy the tickets and then scratch them on the air live. You know, maybe. although. Now that I think about it, it could take you a while to do that with the instructions and how to read them and stuff. I don't you make know. A very, you make a very good point. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Candy, uh, I want you to have a great rest of your Tuesday. Wish me sleep. Yeah, go nap. You're you're out. Right. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Wish me pleasant sleep because that's All what right. I need. Uh, by the way, Abigail uh, at her cousin Molly's for the last two days. Oh, she won't be back till September. Let's be Not, honest. I'm picking her up Wednesday. Are I'm you picking sure? Her up, Are you picking sure? Her, picking her up tomorrow. She's spending two nights there, but yeah, she's out with her cousin. Yep. And then Having Molly a has to come to you. Yeah, eventually she will. But I think, yes. I feel like it's more fun over there. Oh, I know it's more fun over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know it. Yeah. I want to uh, go over there. Yeah, no, it's a good time, for sure. Uh, all right, Ryan and Amanda, thank you, our great uh, producers. I'm here till 10, then Jim, Murph Dog, and Jay Letterman. See everybody at Dublin Deck, a special Tuesday night edition for this week only for the holiday week. We'll see you there tonight. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.